Can the tools of finance and banking be used not just for short-term financial gain, but to actually redefine wealth? Capital Institute was seeking the answer to that question when we engaged in a year-long collaboration with Ken LaRoe, founder of First Green Bank. The following are a few clips from the documentary we produced, highlighting our year-long journey with Ken, during which we introduced him and his staff to a series of provocateur mentors. This area is was historically rural and agricultural, uh, very, very low population. Um, it's exploded with, um, as a bedroom community of Orlando, there's a lot of sprawl, a lot of unmanaged growth, which is uh, rips my heart out, honestly. I'm just determined to not let this place slip away and go the, the route of many other areas in Florida. So we're seeing the beginnings of a regenerative economy here in Central Florida. The, the seeds are here, and a single community bank like First Green Bank can be a hub because the intention is part of the growth, right? How you take the story, what you feel, how deeply you feel it, and use it to grow a business. Your investors end up with, with shares that have a solid return that they can give to their children and their grandchildren. That's also real, that's real value, that's real wealth. Two days after the 2016 presidential elections, we screened our Year in the Life documentary before a live audience in New York City. Local new economy thought leaders and practitioners reflected on their own journeys to try to transform finance and banking. And Ken was there to catch us up with what was happening with First Green Bank since our film was produced. Everyone identified with First Green Bank's story and struggle. Part of my interest in this is the need to rebalance the economy with much stronger local businesses, much stronger local business communities which really rely on a locally based finance. You know, one of the ideas of this regenerative framework is that it unlocks potential that exists that you don't realize is there. And so even though you may not be able to pencil it and write it down and put it in your projection, uh, if you take a long-term perspective, good things will happen and, and, and value creation, both non-monetary and monetary, will come out of the process. That's the that is the whole idea of regeneration. Is and our board unanimously agreed that we want to take the bank into perpetuity. We don't, we don't want to sell it. We want to build it to keep. And so now it's down to how do we do that? What structure do we do, we do going forward? How do we raise patient capital instead of right. the, the PE guys that just want a, a quick return? Our models are so simplistic and so devoid of humanity at this point that they don't tell us what we need to know about what we need to do in the future and where to go. That we need that holistic approach that you talk about. One of the questions that we're asking ourselves is how do we build wealth and not just balance sheets and um, hopefully through the conversations tonight um, in the different works that you do um, and in however which way you want to practice it that you will work with us and the communities that extend beyond these four walls to help um, build a regenerative economy. Our values alignment touches every point of what we do, how we service our customers, and then how we even use our own resources. Our strategy is very intentional. Go after the people we want to go after and watch us make more money and service them at the same time. 